you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure a guest access WLAN using a unique password for each guest with the Unleashed user interface. By creating a guest WLAN, visitors to your organization can be allowed limited or unlimited access to your wireless network with configurable guest access policies. Users can self-authenticate to guest WLANs in one of two ways, no sponsor approval or sponsor approval. Under sponsor approval, guests request a guest pass which must be approved by a sponsor before being delivered to the user via email or SMS. In this video, I'll demonstrate a sponsored approval guest pass. Unleash provides the following options for different types of guest WLANs. No authentication, which is an open WLAN, and in this case, any client can connect, no password is required. Social media login, where visitors log in using existing social media account to access the wireless network. Authentication with a shared key, and under this, any client can connect using the same shared password. And authentication with a unique or guest pass. Guest pass keys must be generated for each guest, either by an admin, a guest pass operator, or by using the self-service guest pass feature. In this video, we'll use the unique guest pass that must be admin generated, which means each guest pass has to be generated by a guest pass operator. So before I create my WLAN, I want to go to my admin and services and point out a few things. So I'll click on admin and services. Under the system information, if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that we have an email server set up and that we have an SMS setting set up. Prior to doing a unique password WLAN, I need to have either an email server or an SMS server or both set up. And if they aren't set up, when you go and create your unique password, it'll forward you to this page and allow you to set it up. So I just wanted to point that out before we created the WLAN. So now if I go up to my WLANs, under Wi-Fi networks, I'm going to select Create. I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to call this one Guest Unique because it is going to be a unique password. I'm going to tick the box that says Guest Access Policies and Access Control will be applied. I'm not going to enable zero IT. Guest Authentication, Guest Pass and Social Login, that's going to be ticked. And Guest Pass Unique Password. So this is the key of what we're doing on this video. And it says to please go to the following link and log in as a Guest Pass admin to create a unique password. So you can go to the HTTPS unleash.ruckuswireless.com forward slash guest pass or you can go to HTTPS and the IP address of your master AP. So I just want to point that out because we're going to use that URL a little bit later. Under grace period, normally this would be ticked to allow users to reconnect without a re-authentication, but I'm going to untick that because if I log into this and need to log into it more than once as a demo, I want to be able to do that. Authentication method is open. Encryption method, we're going to leave that blank. And we have a bunch of advanced features, but I have other videos that cover those. And for the sake of brevity, I'm going to move to the next menu here. So this is where I would set up social login if I wanted to use it. So I want to show something here. If I tick the Google box, and let's say I tick the Facebook box here, and let's say I also tick Enable Guest Pass Self-Service. If I scroll down and I go into the preview mode, so this is what the client is going to see when they log in. You'll see the welcome message. It says connect to the Wi-Fi by the guest pass, or you could have help with guest pass. And here you would sign in with your username and password, or you would connect in with Facebook or Google because that's what we had ticked. So I click OK. So if I go back and untick those, so I'll untick Facebook and untick Google and I'm untick Enable Guest Pass and go back and preview this again. At this point, the only option is to connect to the Wi-Fi by the Guest Pass. And this is going to be the Guest Pass that the Guest Pass operator generates. All right, so we'll click OK for that. If I want to customize this portal, I could edit the banner. I could use a custom image. Since I'm representing an art studio, I'll do that. I could edit the background. I'll put in a piece of art for that. So now I've customized the portal. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK to create my WLAN. And now it brings up a couple menus here. It says, do you want to create a guest pass operator now? So I can do it now or I can do it later. So if I wanted to create it later, I would go to my system admin under roles and I'd create new and select WLANs and check the allow guest pass generator. Then I would go to the system admin users and create a user. And then I would go to the guest pass operator and log into the guest pass URL. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. So I'm going to create my guest pass operator. And I'll just call this person the admin. 
Under group attributes, I'm not going to put anything in for that. Notice that the available WLANs for, for a unique guest is, there's only one. So I'm going to tag that one and move that over into the selected WLANs. If we had two or three of them over here, you could move them in there. So then I'll click on next. And this is step two. So this is where I'm going to create the user role for the guest pass operator, which essentially assigns any other guest WLAN this user can guest pass for. So I'm going to give it a username. And I'll just put admin for my full name. I'll put in a password. And this is the password that you're going to use as a guest pass operator to log on to create the guest pass. Then I'll press on finish. Now it says to create a guest pass, go to this particular URL. Okay, we got it. So now we've created our WLAN. If I wanted to go in and edit that for some reason, I could click on edit. I could go through and adjust some of the settings. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to cancel. So now we have the WLAN created. I have another tab here that, that goes to the URL for the guest pass. So I'm going to type in my user role, which was admin and the password, and I'm gonna log in. So now I'm gonna input the guest information. So I'll put the full name of the person, and I'm gonna call this person Jim Patterson under the creation type. It could be for single or multiple. I could say valid for one day by default or hours or weeks. So let's select weeks. Let's say that our guests are going to be there on campus for a week. The WLAN, if I had more than one WLAN, I could select which one that this person could have access to. The email that I put in here is going to be the client's email. So I'm going to put in a Gmail account here, JP for better Wi-Fi. Phone number, if the person is going to receive a text message, I could put that in there. And I can put the phone number, and this is the key that I'm going to be sending. And if I want to put in a remark, I could do that. So I just put in, enjoy your stay on campus with us. Shareable, do you want this person to be able to share this? And let's say we got six people in the party, so I could select six. And then under session, I could terminate the session after a certain period of time. All right, we're not going to do that. So then we click next. And now it says the guest pass generated. So here is the generated guest pass for Jim Patterson. And it gives the guest pass ID over here. This guest pass is valid for one week. Now I can email it, SMS, or I could do a print. So I'm going to go ahead and send it by email. And notice that it says that it was sent. If I wanted to print this, if I was in the lobby and wanted to print this out, you could go ahead and print it and then hand them a copy of it when you were in the lobby. So we'll cancel on that. Now, if I had uh, more people in the lobby and I wanted to create some more guest pass, I could just go create another guest pass and I could start the process over again. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my client's hat and, and I can my client goes to the email if the password wasn't handed to him and they could click on the email and you notice here that it says guest pass, ruckus unleashed, greetings Jim Patterson, you've been granted access to the company and it gives the guest pass code over here. So that person could then log into the WLAN and use that passcode. So let's go ahead and put our client hat on and go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on my wireless. That'll bring up my WLANs and guest unique was the one that we created. We're going to connect to that. And that'll redirect me. And now this is my welcome portal. So it says, welcome to the guest Wi-Fi, connect to the Wi-Fi by the guest pass. And now I'm going to cut and paste that in there. And then I'm going to click on connect. And it says, you are successfully authenticated. Your guest access is valid, and it gives a certain period of time. So now if I hit continue, I'll go to the internet. And as you can see, we've now connected to that WLAN, and we have access to the internet. So this is how we create a unique guest pass WLAN and guest pass admins to generate guest passes using the Unleashed user interface. Mm -hmm.